like the alive as well. Yeah, yes. that's a good thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, our awake it is early and we are excited to be here with you. Oh. Um, What's up? Yeah, can you see the waiting room? Yeah, I'm just, that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Three people have yeah. entered. I think maybe. Yeah. All right. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, good morning. It is very early here in New Zealand. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's just got out of but we are excited to be here and uh, welcome for and join. Thank you for joining us with our American Facts Showcase for today. Um, so we're going to do a little introduction um, about all our awesome products. And uh, my name is Yolanda. And I'm Nicole. And together we have Medic Effects, and which I said is in New Zealand, yes. Auckland, New Zealand. So the furthest away as you can get. Exactly. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I'll explain a little bit about Medic Effects. Uh, Medic Effects is a, a family-owned business, and we um, are coming from a special effects uh, industry for film and TV. So um, when we came to New Zealand, of course, we did work on Lord of the Rings, as you might wonder. Um, so yeah, so Nicole got started talking to some medical professionals, and uh, they kind of really needed some more realism within their simulation training. And uh, with our you know, with our skills, we thought, like, let's give them a hand and let's see what we can do. And so that's what we've been doing for a while and um, started helping uh, New Zealand hospitals and district health boards. And from there on, we've been kind of venturing out into the world, selling products internationally. Um, and, um, and now we have distributors in Australia and Asia and Europe. Oh, so, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. And still getting more and more. More yeah. and more. Yeah. <laughs> so, Great. Yeah. It's really good. And during this half hour, we will just show you our most popular kind of uh, models that we have. And uh, please, if you have any questions, just to put your hand up or just to do ask questions. Did you say there are no distributors in the U.S. for your products? I think you're muted. Uh, okay. Um, at the moment, we do not have distributors in the U.S. Uh, we are actively looking for a distributor, though, because, um, yes, we are growing pretty rapidly, and we would be loving to venture out more in the U.S. market. Um, so we are just selling directly to all the people in the U.S. We do have some links, though, so it can be that we can come up with a, a distributor soon. <laughs> yes, it is the plan by the end of the year. So if you can recommend anybody, we would be happy to hear from you on that as well. Yes, yeah, there are any more questions, if you can please um, uh, add them to the chat uh, and we'll go, um, carry on with our presentation and maybe at the last end of the uh, presentation, we will um, answer um, all the questions live. Is that all right? Or would you like me to uh, ask the questions during? If, if they're very relevant yeah, uh, to, we to what we're that. talking about, we can sure. answer them straight away. Yeah. That's all yeah. good. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, let's let's get started with our uh, the yeah. most popular um, most popular item, which would be our facial Basis. overlay. So yeah. they come in all sorts and sizes and um, races, ages. Um, so we got some on display here. Um, most of them are and here at the back as well with quite a few different yes. ones. Yeah. So um, most of them have been created on a 3G uh, Simman. However, they do uh, fit perfectly uh, on the HAL, um, on multiple other um, CAE uh, items. Um, yes. So they do fit on other mannequins as well. Um, so yeah, so our and we have at this moment, we, I think we, we can say that we have the biggest collection of Different, different face overlays. Yes. So there's like all different ethnicities, different age groups, and um, yeah. So and they can come with beards or without beards, and yes. with all kinds of hairdos and um, and yes. illnesses as well. Yes, um, we love custom design these as well. So if you are having any particular quest, like oh, we actually want to have an Asian male that has a beard or a longer hair, we can just adjust that for you if you would like. So, um, as you can tell, we've got here this uh, this fine model of ours, which we 
that we call L. And L is looking like a, a white male, like most uh, robotic mannequins do. Um, you would have some older models, especially. They are always looking very similar. Um, in this day and age, we are fully aware that people are not all the same, and we really need that diversity within our simulation training. So, um, and in this case, we're going to transform him very quickly into um, Sir Collingwood. James yeah, Collingwood. So, but did you know that you can also wear them yourself? Oh, no, I, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Let's, Let's, Let's demonstrate that. See, you can just put them on yourself as well. Cool. Yeah, and just adjustments a bit here and there, and then you just put it in the middle of the so yeah, so they can they can be worn by a standard patient as well. And so you can extend your scenario from a standard patient and then in, go into the operating room where you will find mm -hmm. the same person lying on this mannequin. And we can slip it over just easily like this. Of course, this face has uh, its eyes closed. Of course, the 3G sim man would have his eyes open. There will be full function to eyes, a mouth, and ears. There is a little easy little strap at the back with some Velcro. So we prefer um, doing more half masks. So it's an easier application on the mannequin. Instead of having a full silicon mask, because they can get quite um, sticky and grippy and it'd be a bit of a mission. So it's a very easy wrap around. So yes, having having different faces in your simulation will give you so much more to talk about with your team or not just about um, you know, uh, added to your scenario, but also about racial bias, age bias. And it's all just adding more to yeah, more to your realism. We've got a question uh, yes. from Todd Hillman. Yes. Todd uh, asks, with CAE Apollo, do they fit over the face that is there or does the skin need to be removed? No, we we place it on top of the on skin. On top of the skin. Yes, yes. And we have tried it on the Apollo last um, eye mesh and it does fit. Great, thank yeah. you for that. Perfect. So, uh, Mr. James Collingwood, we put him a little glasses on. It's always nice to add some extra, you know, real things to it. <laughs> and uh, what else can we do to this fine man? Oh, we can give him a torso as well. Yeah, we've got like these torsos. They are uh, specially made for extra, yeah, extra realism. Add on, on add-on yes. bits. So we got all kinds of torsos, but this one is a geriatric one. So it's um, it's an older male, just to extend your scenario again to make it a little bit more realism throughout the whole body. Um, of course, all these kind of items can be made with uh, additional wounds or um, afflictions. Um, at the mo you can also wear this again as a standard patient, and they come with a very handy velcro strap so you just remove the little strappy bit in this case i'm just going to put it on top of he Mr. could have James. A, he could have a big scar there you know for a recent heart surgery oh, or yeah. something that would be nice well this one already has a stroke so basically it is um, he doesn't have to have everything right? no he does not need everything <laughs> so we just pop it on top you can choose to either lay it on top of the neck piece or underneath um, we do make full um, slip-ons where the torso is attached to the head as well so if you want to extend it of course uh, we like we like working in smaller pieces as that gives you more flexibility and it can make it a little bit more transferable there we go. And what else can we do to this man to make him more realistic? Well, maybe we can give him some hands. Yeah, let's look at some hands. <laughs> look so, at that transformation from one hand to the next. This, yeah, this is a different uh, hand. So this one is a bit of a, an old male hand, I suppose. Yeah, it sure so, is. <laughs> it sure yeah. is. So um, again, made out of a soft silicon with a full mesh nylon backing. So it's very strong and durable. And easy to take off and on with some uh, extra powder inside. Yes. Um, David uh, Shevlet uh, just shouts out and says, hello, Nicole. Hi, David. How are you? 
could see you here. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, another, another question from Todd Hillman. Um, how well can you hear heart lung sounds through the chest skin? Shouldn't make a difference. No. No, it, it, it's a very thin, thin layer of silicon. It does not have, we have not heard any complaints from our local hospitals. They, they couldn't pierce things. So. Great, great question though. Maybe, it is you know, a very we'll, good we'll, question. We'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll make sure and we'll double check on that. But as far as we have uh, had feedback on, it's uh, not a problem. And uh, maybe a shout out to any of the people watching that are existing customers. Yeah. If you've got feedback, what should they do? Oh, we love feedback and we yeah. want to know all about what you do with our products and how you use it. So please, because please we let can us know. only improve with our products if we know what is wanted and what is not. So please, if you do have any feedback, negative or positive, of course, like please let us know. Just pass it on. Okay, so we have done enough with that one. You yeah, think? I guess so. Um, so yeah, so talking about those torsos, um, yes. So we've given him a nice torso, but they can be worn by a um, standard patient. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll do a little reveal, a sneaky yeah, little do. reveal today. <laughs> Our cameraman is running away. <laughs> and ta -da, ta -da, we are having some fabulous uh, boobs here. <laughs> It's the easiest boob job you'll ever get. So um, can be worn by standard patient, which is, um, you know, fun fun for any uh, party trick. So uh, this so one comes with a nice zip at the back, which can be just easily zipped open and taken off. There you go. How's that for an early morning strip tease? I think it was great. Oh, it's, the it was great. it's the afternoon, isn't it? Oh, it's the afternoon for them. Yes, fair no, right. it's not. It's morning tea. Yeah, yeah morning tea. Yeah, it's All right, let's, tea. let's have a little chat about our yeah. stick-on wounds. Yeah, I will just get, get all the weeds out, out of the way as well. All the weeds you can sit on here. So our stick-on wounds are a very popular product. Um, is being used in um, simulation training in um, hospitals, first aid training. Um, uh, we sell a lot to uh, nursing colleges. Um, but also uh, for trauma pieces, so here we have some burns. We make them in different uh, skin colors as well, because you know, you might, especially if you want to work them on standard patients, you want to find the right color to adjust. Our very popular bed sores. And we do have another bed sore as well. Where's the other bed sore that we have? Oh, I can't find it. I do have it. It is here. See, we've got a bed sore on a heel as well. Oh. Yes, yes. So, which is a nice little strap on. Which go goes with that. So I will just put that there. We will demonstrate that later on. Here's a colostomy wounds. Uh, another question um, we've had from Jane McKill McKinley. How long does it take to the ship to the US? Um, if we have our products in stock, then shipping to the US, it goes pretty quick. We can send it with FedEx and it will be there with you within a week. If there are products that we have to make from scratch, we have a pretty good turnaround time in creating our yeah. products, as we all do it here in our workshop. Um, it would be probably max, it's kind of like two weeks, unless it's a full-on um, custom or design. A, or if it's a big, huge, big order, then they go to three weeks yeah. sometimes. But most of the time, yeah. we try to just get everything out yeah to in, with, within two weeks yes yeah. right so um a little wound so we'll demonstrate it so they kind of have a self-adhesive backing um that backing stays sticky for uh for years long, on end so um if you do want to make it super sticky we do have our um adhesive uh Sticky glue gel. Sticky glue gel. So you yeah. pop that in the microwave, heat it up, put it Ten on the wound. Seconds. Ten seconds. Yeah. Put it on the wound, put it on the skin, and just pop it on, and it just stays for like a day. It's great. Um, so um, I'll just demonstrate this on this guy. So you can use it to blend edges of certain body um, skins. So you can easily stick it onto silicon. Um, most things do not stick easy to silicon, but our adhesive, self adhesive wounds are very easy to apply. So you can put it on there. Um, of course, you can also. Oh, I hurt myself. I you can it also apply it to yourself. Really easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I give up your day job, Nicole. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. 
Uh, yeah. So, well, maybe you want to have something too. Sure. Let's bring it. Let's bring it on. There, you've got some shrapnel on your face. So you can easily transform a mannequin or a standard wow, patient so into anybody. Um, of course, on mannequins <laughs> itself, um, which is vinyl, or either on the soft vinyl or on the hard vinyl, you can easily pop that on as well. So. Um, it won't leave you any residue. If there is any, you can just easily wipe that off with a little makeup remover or a little alcohol swab and your model is fine, fine and clean. Yeah. Um, so of course, if you want to add more stuff to your edging to blend it even more so, you can put like some bruise wheels on it, um, add some extra blood on it. Um, everything will wash off very easily onto underneath the tap warm water and um and the adhesive backing will stay there yes. another yep. question um from jane mckinley um is do they stick to the lardy and yeah yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. they stay they stick to all mannequins yeah and to all people, and meaning, to all people. And they're very sticky <laughs> yeah they're very sticky and they, they and they keep on sticking really you yeah. know so, um, but you all have a little stick on wound in your um goodie bag, yeah, I suppose. So, that was at least that was yeah. how it should be, and so you can all try it out yourself, yeah. So, yeah. put it on something, um, it does not get ruined by anything, you can just wash it under the tap, and it's still you know sticking afterwards. So, no problems whatsoever. So, yeah, so these are like slightly smaller models, um. But yeah, super durable. They're all very, um, yeah, they're all made of silicon, high quality product. And um, yeah, but if you do want to go a little bit bigger and you want to strap on things, then we have some options for that as well. Because they don't not really stick, but we have them with uh, Velcro attachments and mesh and Velcro backing. So this thing can be just gone on your foot or on a mannequin's foot, it will always just sit and strap around. Yeah, so here on this demonstration foot, <laughs> you see how easy it is to wrap that around. There you go again. You put a sock over it with a little hole and then you're done. So here we have some examples of our strap around with. They all come with a Velcro backing. Um, they are built on mesh for durability as Where well. We have about like um, 30 different designs of, of these at the Small moment. Small and big. So yeah, certain items can be worn um, at multiple places, of course. So um, pieces like this can be wrapped around uh, a forearm as well as a top arm, leg, wherever you want, of course. Our belly pieces on the Can not go, yeah. <laughs> cannot <laughs> go around the arm. No, no probably not. <laughs> so we'll uh, give you a quick little demonstration on how this works. So each one has the uh, mesh backing and Velcro on the back. Yeah, and then it comes with a, a soft piece of soft Velcro fabric. So you stick one side, and in this case, it is an in 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 our wrist. So you put that in there, and you. Step it around, wrap it on nice and tight, and then easily cover, cover the edges up with some uh, wristwatch and a t shirt or something, yeah. and then you're done. So, you can add all kinds of blood through it, you can put like more bruising on it, and all those things wash off real easy. But the paint that it is now, it will be staying the same, it will stay the same, yes. All of our pieces are painted um, by hand. Um, we either airbrush them or you know, paintbrush them. Um, and um, we can also, again, customize it if you are needing. Yeah, so if you want to have bloodlines going through it so that it actually will bleed, yep, yeah, that's possible. Too. Possible too. Yeah. So, yeah, so for here, for this one here, um, we have uh, a suturable one as well. We have some kind of sutures, but of course they popped out because it's like a septic wound at this point. Um, so, you can suture that up yourself as well. So we have lots of suturable wrap-on wounds. And if you do want to do some more suturing, we also have lots of skill strainers. I'll show you a little suture pad. Here we go. So this is just our little suture pad. 
See, this one is a pre-cut one. You can cut it in all kinds of shapes or things. And you can see that it is more different layers. Yeah, so it is set up with three different layers. So look at the red layer on the bottom, so fatty tissue and a skin layer, which is like enforced with some mesh. So this one is actually made to do it quite a lot. Yeah, it comes with some sutures. I do not know whether they are really suitable for uh, big legs or something, but you know, so you could uh, try things out. We have got lots of different suture pads in different shapes and sizes. And this guy is a suture. Uh, it's also suturable, yeah. Suturable as well. So that's our uh, little standard little neck mold. It's a little neck trainer, and you can see this. Uh, this exists into four layers. So it's got like here. It's got the the skin. It's got like the membrane, and it's got like the uh, strap muscles. And in the depth, if you can see that, is the trachea. Yeah, so this is a, a thing for if there is, um, so if you have to suture multiple layers in the neck area. And another one. That's not a really suturable one. It's not a suturable one, but it's a skill trainer as well to yeah, it's a diagnostic them. thing, basically, yeah. yeah, for your elderly patients. Oh, this is an endemic link. It has got, like, you know, pitting edema there. See, like how beautiful. You can poke that. And so you can wrap that around your own leg, a standard patient, or you can just put it around a mannequin's leg. And then it could occur that the patient has got, like, edema in her leg or his yeah. leg. Yeah, so it's a good surprises there. Do we want to have a little chat about oh, yeah. this young lady? Then we have like a little uh, uh, airway trainer here. This is Breathless Susie. And Breathless Susie comes normally with a neck skin like so. But this is a tracheotomy model. So for a little baby that can't breathe. Hence the name Breathless Susie. Yeah, so uh, this is a little uh, operable uh, model. So you can actually cut the skin, open it up, and you can see here as well the strap muscles. With and your fingers in front of it. Can you get in there? Yeah, I can get in. can take the strap muscles a little bit up, and then you can see there is also the larynx, the trachea, and everything, and a little bloodline. It's all there. So basically, this is a little anatomic model, and it can be, um, you know, and this skin, when that is poked or cut, it can be repaired, like all our silicon models can be repaired. And do you have spares? With the, it comes with a couple of spares yeah, as well. It comes yeah. with spares, yeah. spares, yeah. spares uh, trachea, spare skins, and all the skins can be repaired with our repair kit, which has like the silicon tape, mesh, pins, and basically anything that you need with full instructions to how to do that. And if you'd rather see us do it, um, we have our uh, Special, session, special tomorrow. session tomorrow about how we fix all our silicon and we can show you how to fix the silicon devices. How to cut it and how to repair yes. it. Um, <laughs> and as well as on our YouTube channel, we have lots of videos that can guide you through and how to fix things. So another little trainer here. This is our um, deep septic wound. Um, it's, it's a very deep one. It's got a nice little bone at the bottom. It's got a bloodline. We have some pus that comes with it, and we have some uh, like meaty pus as well. So this is a gelatin base again. So we put that in the microwave, microwave heat it up, fill it in, um, and then you can add some different items to it to create a different scenario each time. So we. It comes with like all sorts of little fun add-ons, like some dirt, maggots, glass, or some shrapnel. So, so you depending, can change your wound all the time. Change your yeah. wound, make it more versatile, and of course, it comes with some blood and a syringe. So if you want to just syringe it through. Uh, yeah. The question I've got is, do you do we get uh, your watch to win code during the showcase? And the answer is yes. Yes. But in the, within the next five minutes. Yes. We will announce that code. Yes. 
Oh, what's the wind code? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Jules, Jules got the bird code. He will reveal that soon. Um, so yeah, so this is our little uh, septic wound trainer. Of course, you can go a little bigger. Um, you might have missed our, um, our session yesterday. Um, we did a big one on uh, trauma, and so we did, had lots of bigger items that we were bleeding. Um, yeah. But this is one of our luxury box. So this is a wound packing model. So again, it comes with a bloodline. You can either put it on a syringe or of course you can put it on a blood pump. So it comes with some blood. For added realism, you have got the real leg. <laughs> you got a bigger leg piece there as well. So this one has one massive wound packing wound on that side and then it's got a smaller one on that side. So you can choose if you just want to have um, the one bloodline going or both yeah and this one is also uh able to put a tourniquet on uh, which is quite uh, uh an add-on yeah an add-on so we have got more uh, in demand. impressive big um um wound packing models which are not on the website yet but they will be at the end of this weekend um, so we might have a little bit of time left to talk about our babies. Mm -hmm. So um, we will have a full session on our babies um, uh, later on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, in two yeah. hours or in something. Hours. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll just go in depth in the babies. But um, oh, is that a code? That, that is our code. Um, I will announce that soon. Let's uh -huh. have a look at some of our babies. Uh, yes. Well, here we have like our biggest baby this is baby oliver and to baby oliver in this case it's like a care baby in the next session we will also show the baby as a surgical baby yeah because this one can also come as a surgical baby then we have we are a little yep. <laughs> Okay. So Rohan and Rohan has got like is a birthing baby, so that's why he's got like his arms, legs, and everything mm -hmm. a little bit more uh, curved up, so he can be fitted into a pregnant belly or in a uterus. We will show you that later on as well in the next session. So for those that are needing to go and get ready for their next uh, session, I will give you the code real quickly. The code is four six seven seven. So it's it. four, six, seven, seven. You can uh, read this writing. It's four, six, seven, seven. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. And um, what other baby we've got? We still got like a little baby here. This is little baby Libby. And you can see that Libby is very limp. She is, um, uh, is an operable baby. And so she's intact completely, but she can be cut open here and she will have uh, full abdominal um, organs. So we will see that does later your, on. Does a surgical baby have fem oral access? Uh, fem oral access, not these ones yet, but that is of all our babies do have. Um, customizable options so if that yeah. is something that you want to do within your uh, scenarios then let us know and then what we require is just a lot of information on what what exactly you want yeah. to do um, and then we can all babies do yeah. have, do have full lung function so they can be ventilated with a visible chest tries and we will demonstrate that in the next uh, session as well yep so but yeah, so this is little um, Two minutes. Libby. Yep. And our tiniest little one is little Patrick, who is also a, an operable baby. Also that we will show in the next session, like exactly like what can be done with him. But um, he's also a fully operable. Yeah, so also this one is called like chest rise, so it can be uh, ventilated. Some of our bigger babies can be also be intubated, you know, so that's the newest function. So if that is, uh, yeah, another question. Um, how, many, how many Halloween costume contests have you won? Uh, <laughs> too many. Funny enough, we don't 
Got to do Halloween because we're always working. We are working yes. too hard. Yeah, yeah. We 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 make other people win. Yes, <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So we're kind of coming to the end of our session. I really want to open the floor to any of our watchers. Um. See if there are any more questions that you would like us to answer. If there's anything you would like to know. Of course, you can find all our products on our website. We have just kind of upgraded our website so we're working on that to make it even more beautiful uh, but all our products are to be found there so our website is medicfx.com and, uh, and Julian just put that in the chat as well so uh, yeah so uh, please do check our stuff out um, and I'd like to say a massive thank you for joining us yeah um, and if you were really interested in more in the babies then join us for the next session yes and tomorrow we'll be cutting up our stuff. So join us for that as well. So thank you very much and have a great day.